Hi, I'm William. This is The Wine Room, Putnam Market in Saratoga Springs, upstate New York, and I'm just exploring what it is that students might learn sitting in the WSET Level 3 class that I'm teaching at the moment from the wine that's in the glasses uh, in front of them. Uh, and we've considered what the wine looks like and what it smells like, and now we're going to consider what it tastes like and what we might learn from that. Well, there are a number of very clear components in it. How tart is the wine? Again, that will give you a clue as to where the grapes were grown because fruit that's grown in cold climates tends to be more tart or more acidic, as we say in the wine business, than fruit that's grown close to the equator, which tends to be riper. Conversely, fruit that's grown close to the equator because it sees more sunshine, more photosynthesis and more sugar accumulation is likely to have more alcohol than fruit which is grown a long way from the equator where we are now. And how can you tell that? Well, the alcohol's got a sort of heat and anyone who's ever had a martini will know what I mean. It's just that kind of moment. And you can taste that in very alcoholic wines. And the other thing that you can learn from the flavor of the wine, as well as recognizing that certain grape varieties have signature flavors, whether it's black currant for Cabernet Sauvignon or, or, or grapefruit for New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc or uh, as I discovered last night in, in its absence um, the smell of roses from Nebbiolo from northern Italy uh, as well as all of um, those things you can get an idea as to the winemaking uh, uh, techniques that have been involved, whether the wine has been left on its lees, will determine how weighty the wine tastes in your mouth. And to the extent that it's been uh, aged, say, for example, in oak barrels, will determine whether it's got a vanilla a flavor in addition to the primary fruit flavors and the grapes. And all of these things start to build up a picture of what this wine must be.